welcome. In this video I will show you how you can deploy SSS packages and uh, there are a couple of ways uh, as we said in one of our previous videos that you can deploy uh, using a command line tool, you can deploy from SQL Server Management so you can deploy from uh, DTS and I will show you how you can use deployment utility from our project to deploy uh, packages uh, to uh, SQL Server Management Studio. First of all, we have the uh, same or similar project. Uh, it's a simple transfer data from one database and one table to another database and another table. And uh, we can see here that the table is empty. And uh, now, uh, now I'll show, show you the example how we can do this from uh, SSDT. First of all, we should uh, convert this to package deployment model. Okay, now if we go right click and properties, we will we'll find here uh, and we should change our create deployment utility on true. After that, we should go on right click and build our uh, deployment uh, model and uh, definitely that uh, now we should find, uh, should find our, our data under the view map. Right one is 69, and under 69 we should have our our deployment uh, manifest file. Here is our package, and here is a file. Uh, using that file, we can uh, transfer data or transfer our package uh, to our SQL Server Management Studio. And I will show you how. Okay, that's the right one. Yes, just click double click it on. Yes. Success, progress, success. 
success, everything seems fine. If we execute uh, our select of thousand rows, we probably get all our data, and everything seems fine now. We'll delete this uh, this table again, just show it everything empty, because we'll use now a different approach to deploy our uh, SSS package. Just to find where it's going to be here. Okay, now we will use. SQL Server to deploy package, and I'll show you how. Uh, SQL Server deployment, validate package, auto installation. It's very good to, to check this just for, for to be sure to see if, if everything is okay. Okay, summon name, choose summon name. Okay, package path. I'll use, you can use uh, data collector on maintenance plan because you already have these maps in your uh, integration services on uh, SQL Server Management Studio. But I will use the default, like slash nothing else. And next, uh, it is okay. I will, put, uh, I will leave that uh, default value. And just next, and validation, validation is complete. Everything seems fine. Everything seems fine, yes. And if we go to our SSIS integration, if we refresh this, stored packages, if we refresh this, we have our package here. You can see its name is package. If we execute this uh, again, we can check if everything's empty. Yes, if we execute this, uh, okay, run package. Just a second. Execute. Yes, everything seems fine. Yes. Yes, close. Everything. Everything's okay. Now, if we execute our uh, table, you can see that uh, the package works just fine, and uh, all the data are transferred to our new data, our new table. So uh, this is a simple example how you can use the deployment utility uh, to deploy SSS package to your SQL Server Management Studio. And uh, in some of my future videos, I will show you how you can use. Uh, the same thing but using just a common line tool and that will be all thank you for watching